Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Learning and Sharing. In today's video, <coughs> we will discuss about the elements of weather or weather elements. Uh, these weather elements are also being called the atmospheric elements or atmospheric components. Uh, but before going to uh, you know discuss in detail these elements, let's have a quick review of uh, what is difference and what is mean by the weather and what is different between weather and the climate because there is lots of confusion when when students they do study about the weather and the climate so uh, we will discuss in detail the elements of weather but before i'll give you a quick uh, you know review of the differentiate between weather and the climate so आज हम वेदर एलिमेंट्स के बारे में पढ़ेंगे कि वेदर एलिमेंट्स क्या हैं और वो किस तरह एटमॉस्फेयर में या वेदर या क्लाइमेट बनाने में अहम किरदार अदा करते हैं और वो हाउ दे आर बीन रिकॉर्डेड ठीक है तो उसके बारे में पढ़ेंगे मगर उससे पहले मैं थोड़ा सा आपको रिव्यू देना चाहता हूँ कि वेदर है क्या और वेदर और क्लाइमेट में फ़र्क क्या है क्योंकि बहुत मरतबा जब हम स्टडी करते हैं तो हमें कन्फ्यूजन होती है कि वेदर और क्लाइमेट में फ़र्क क्या है सो लेट्स डिस्कस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वेदर एंड क्लाइमेट सो एक्चुअली वेदर वेदर इज द सम टोटल ऑफ सम टोटल ऑफ क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन सम टोटल ऑफ द एटमोसफरिक कंडीशन और इट इज़ यू कैन से इट इज एवरेज कंडीशन ऑफ द क्लाइमेटिक कंपोनेंट सो विच आर दीज क्लाइमेटिक कंपोनेंट्स लाइक humidity like winds uh, temperature air pressure precipitation cloud nets and also the solar insulation so weather actually weather is for the temporary period so it is the condition or situation of uh, climatic components at a given time at a particular time in a particular place तो हम उसको वेदर कहते हैं कि किसी खास जगह के किसी एक कंपोनेंट्स का या सारे कंपोनेंट्स के टेम्प्रेरी जायजा लिया जाए तो उसको हम वेदर वेदर कहते हैं वेन इट्स कम टू द क्लाइमेट नाउ क्लाइमेट इज फॉर द लॉन्गर पीरियड्स फॉर द लॉन्ग टर्म वेदर इज वेरी शॉर्ट इज अ टेम्प्रेरी इज अ लिमिट इट डे टू डे वीक एंड और द मंथ एंड समाइम आल्सो फ्यू मंथ्स एंड दर आल्सो but when it comes to the climate climate is the generalized situation generalized picture of any given place or at any particular time to usko hum jo hai na climate kehte hain now climate is for the longer periods the components are same like as i told you humidity temperature air pressure they are always been same but when we record them for the longer period uh, particularly uh, climate has been recorded or been ascertained or determined after 30 to 35 years of regular uh, uh, record theek hai to uske baad hame kisi mulk ke climate ka pata chalta hai when it's come to weather and climate to agar uski aap meaning dekh to wo hai mausam hai koi aap se puche ke if somebody asks you about the uh, you know weather of your country so you will tell them uh, the the weather condition of at that moment at, at, at given time ke us waqt ka jo weather hai wo aap batayenge wo garmi pad rahi hai ya sardi hai whether it's a rainy whether it's a windy whether it's a cloudy whether it's a humid something like this when it's come to the when it's come to the uh, when it's come to the climate koi aap se puche ke how is the climate of your country so you will tell the average condition of uh, ऑफ दी वेदर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ योर कंट्री मीन्स आप कह सकते हैं कि हमारा मुल्क गर्म है इट्स वेरी हॉट और इट्स वेरी कोल और इट्स रेनी समथिंग लाइक सो इट्स एवरेज पिक्चर ऑफ सो इट वॉज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द क्लाइमेट एंड द वेदर नाउ वी आर कमिंग टू द क्लाइम क्लाइमेटिक एलिमेंट्स और वेदर एलिमेंट्स एंड अदर वर्स दे आर बीन कॉल द एटमोसफेरिक कंपोनेंट बिकॉज यू नो द एटमोसफेयर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दीज एलिमेंट्स they are being part of the atmosphere and they play very important role in making the particular climate of any region or the temporary weather condition of any place so we start from the temperature now number 1 is the temperature so actually temperature is the degree of hotness or the coldness of any object of or any place to usko hum 
उसको हम टेम्परेचर कहते हैं नाउ टेम्परेचर इज वन ऑफ द वेरी ईजिएस्ट एंड वेरी आल से पॉपुलर एंड ईजिएस्ट टू फील वेदर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द एटमोसफियर क्योंकि यू कैन ईजीली टेल एनी वन दैट हाउ यू फील एट द मोमेंट हाउ मच इज द टेम्परेचर वेदर आपको गर्मी लग रही है आपको सर्दी लग रही है एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव अ एग्जैक्ट रिकॉर्ड एग्जैक्ट नॉलेज ऑफ द टेम्परेचर देन यू आर बीन यूजिंग द थर्मोमीटर सो थर्मोमीटर इज अ डिवाइस थ्रू विच वी डिटरमाइन और वी रिकॉर्ड द टेम्परेचर ऑफ एनी प्लेस इवन द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द बॉडी और द एनी ऑब्जेक्ट सो टेम्परेचर इज बीन यू नो रिकॉर्डेड इन सेल्सियस or uh, you can say all in the centigrade or the kelvin or the fahrenheit so uh, this is the device which we call the thermometer number second is the now temperature has been you know influenced by the latitude the where that place has been existing in the location of that place and also altitude or elevation of that place and also the winds uh, hu humidity you can say and and the same time also the nearness or closeness to the water body particularly the ocean or the river so uska bhi bada us pe asar padta hai to yahan pe temperature kin kin cheezon pe asar padta hai altitude latitude closeness or to the water body at same time the topography or the physiography of that place so ye char panch cheeze jo hain aapke temperature pe asar andaaz hai now air pressure uh, you all know the atmosphere has a weight Uh, so we always insert the weight on our our earth so that weight create the pressures so particularly our air which surrounds us in atmosphere though there is a uh, it is the mixture of different gases actually it create the pressure so we call that the air pressure usko hum air pressure kehte hain now uh, in terms of climatic condition or the climate particularly <coughs> air pressure doesn't have a direct impact on the on the climate or the weather something but it drive it drives or help in making of any particular weather of that place so like if if you say if we have a high uh, high pressure high air pressure then we have a normal weather conditions you know what we what we have or it's been regular weather conditions so if we have a low air pressure then we can say we have a unusual type of the weather such as like either it can be humidity uh, it can be a humid or it can be a, a you know windy or the cloudy or it can be a tornadoes or you know hurricanes any any anything which has been unusual uh, in terms of weather wo a low air pressure ki wajah se hoti hai now low air pressure has been recorded by the uh, barograph uh, you know Uh, or barometer, barograph, or the barometer through, and it has been recorded in millibars, which is unit. So, uske through, hume uh, you know pressure ka pata chalta. Now, you know the winds also been you know f f blowing from uh, you know high to low pressure areas. You know, so something like this. You know, so what I what I told you earlier that air pressure doesn't have a direct impact, but it drives, it push or it support. you know or uh, you know uh, in making of any particular climatic condition so uska bhi bada asar hota hai now air pressures uh, you know has been influenced by same thing as temperature i told earlier air pressure no oh, sorry the latitude or altitude and also density of the air this is also very important to yahan pe in cheezon ka bada asar hota hai number third is the humidity what does mean by humidity now humidity is actually is the amount of you know vapors amount of water which is been present in the atmosphere so we call that the humidity now there are different types of humidity absolute humidity relative humidity i am not going to in details of these i will have a you know separate video on uh, that uh, that topics so humidity actually is a ratio or amount or percentage of water present in the atmosphere you know Uh, you know our air uh, our air or atmosphere is be filled with the water vapors to wahan pe water vapors maujood hote hain so similarly humidity also play important role uh, though it doesn't have a direct impact but it 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 also uh, you know create a, i'll say or uh, you know say, what to say the uh, like the process of condensation of precipitation so process of condensation of precipitation they are been closely connected with the 
amount of uh, water vapor or the humidity. So, uh, humidity is being recorded with hygrometer. Hygrometer ke through hume humidity ka pata chalta hai. It depends on your location, where you are being. Humidity is being influenced by the location. Let it another is the amount, uh, another the availability of water. Agar if you are being closer to the water bodies, so there is a there are chances there are more humidity. Taken. So agar usse dur hain, to humidity kam hogi. It's also been dependent. Humidity also been dependent on the temperature. Also been the pressure. So ye kuch cheeze hain jis pe humidity jo hai na uska jo hai na impact hota hai. So uh, number number four is the winds. Now, what does it mean by the wind? Actually, wind is the movement of air. Movement of air. You know, as I told you earlier, in atmosphere, air is being present everywhere. It's been surrounding our earth. So, when the air start to move in any particular direction, in any direction, I will say, it is called the wind. So, actually, you all know the air is being blowing or been moving in a vertical and horizontal direction. But when it start to move in a vertical direction, we call that the we call that the winds. So, winds always been blow from high to low pressure areas, similar from low to high te temperature, something like this, you know. So, winds play important role also, uh, you know, in, in mo moving of the different objects, uh, different elements. Also. Winds are being recorded, uh, you know, now wind are, winds are being derived by the, you know, variation in the temperature and pressure. Jab temperature pressure mein variation ho chiye, I mean there is a you know instability in temperature, high or low temperature, high and low air pressure. To uski wajah se ye hawaein na chalna shuru kar kar deti hai. Winds are being what I say, uh, uh, winds are being recorded through the wind vane, you know. So there are different devices, wind vane. So some devices, uh, you know, they record the direction of the wind. Some record the you know the uh, speed of the wind. So one we have an anemometer, another the another we have a wind vane. So uh, these are the number. Uh, another we have the what I say uh, the cloud nets, the process of uh, cloud formation or the condensation. So what does mean by the condensation? Condensation is the process through which the water vapor convert into, convert into drop and those drops being amalgamated once they get the particular conditions once they get the nuclei on which they uh, surround there are stand there and they come out in the form of clouds jab clouds bante hain usko hum condensation kehte hain ab now you know the water vapor they start to come from bottom and they come in the higher places altitude and place in an elevation and once they get the dew point or you know the temperature which has been suitable for the cloud formation so those vapors convert into the drops but they are still in a freezing form it there in the sky so we call that the cloud nose now there are the different uh, you know uh, types of the crowd serious clouds you know uh, cumulus cumulonimbus clouds but it, it you know depends on the height where they are when they have a different uh, structures also uh, you know, so it was about the, it was about the, <coughs> now we are coming to the uh, rainfall, we are coming to the rainfall. Now rainfall also a key components of the weather element. So, you know, precipitation actually is the all forms of rains which are being in the weather. So, we have a different forms of rain like whether it is any in the form of drops of sleet or drizzle or snow you know we have or fog so there are different forms of the precipitation similarly once the condensation is being uh, you know you know completed the process of condensation we have a complete cloud nets again we have a particular particular temperature then we have a low temperature and again we have a high temperature so the temperature variation those clouds start to burst they start to you know uh, you know let down those drops uh, at the bottom of the earth surface so we call that the precipitation to jab wo uh, wo badal jab wo badal jab barasthe hain aur wo pani dete in the form of rainfall so we call that the rainfall or the precipitation actually precipitation the process rainfall is the part of the uh, you know the precipitation now there are different uh, you know types of uh, rains like 
uh, we have a orographic rainfall <coughs> we have a conventional rainfall and we have also cyclonic rainfalls so also been depending on the uh, location uh, you know uh, temperature pressure and also the availability of water so uh, it was then we have a i'll say uh, uh, solar insulation or the sunlight you know sunlight is very important it is because of sunlight or sun energy we observe the life you know so like you know so the photosynthesis process of photosynthesis through which the plants they make their food you know and also uh, you know the sunlight insulation is the main source of you know temperature uh, you know energy on the uh, on the earth that's why so you know uh, amount of sunlight is been depending the position of earth and the sun wo bhi hamare liye bahut hi important and also been derived uh, driven so the amount of you know uh, the uh, what is say the uh, light you know it's also determine the weather condition so like you know we have a process of uh, different things different things like uh, you know we have a cloud formation or precipitation or the wind or the temperature something so they are been derived by the sunlight uh, the position of earth and sun very important sometime the you know earth is so close to the earth sometime it's away from the earth so like we have a you know terms of aphelion and perihelion you know perihelion aphelion so so position of earth and sun is very important here so if the sunlight is been more and more there then we have a different type of climatic condition or situation so it was all about the uh, you know the climatic elements you know i hope you understood what we discuss in our today's video so if you like my you know um, like my lectures or video please subscribe it i also ask your friends to subscribe this channel and also share with them and have a comments if you want if you want if you ask something about or if you want to say something so you will have a comments and also insert the icon button uh, bell button so you will have a quick you know notification of my video so till then take care of yourself